With the Herman Miller Gaming and Body's price skyrocketing to an eye-watering $2,000, the Hayworth Fern is now the chair I'm recommending to most people. But which one should you get? Should you go with a regular Fern or should you pick up one of their gaming versions? Let's get honest. Links to everything you see here will be in the description below. If this video helps you, please use my links when doing your shopping. It costs you nothing, but it really helps keep this channel alive, and I really appreciate your support. This topic is quite complicated, and we're gonna do a deep dive, but the quick and dirty version is this. The main benefit of getting a regular fern is that you can fine tune every single combination, every single configuration for this chair. And you can get a highly functional, but basic Hayworth fern for as little as $1,100. And then if you're feeling a little bit, little bit kinky, you can get a vegan leather option for $2,000 plus. With the gaming ferns, let's start with the Halo one here. This chair is a phenomenal value because if you were to take a regular fern and configure it the same with the same options that the Halo one has, the Halo one comes out to be about $100 cheaper than the regular fern. On top of that, the Halo fern comes with a vegan leather seat. On the regular ferns, you either have to go all vegan leather or nothing. There is no just seat vegan leather option. So to summarize, the Halo fern is $100 cheaper than a re similarly configured regular Hayworth fern, and it also comes with a higher quality seat cushion fabric here with the vegan leather. The Xbox fern is the same story. As a matter of fact, it's probably the best value of all three here. This chair, if you were to configure a regular fern in the same configuration, the Xbox fern comes to be $100-ish cheaper as well. But here's the big kicker and the difference between these two is that the seat fabric here, this leather here is genuine leather. Even the regular ferns don't come with that option. And again, just the seat comes in that, not both the back and the seat, and no other fern can do that. So it's $100 cheaper and the seat Fabric is the highest quality seat of all the ferns out there. That's the quick and dirty summary. Before I do a deep dive, please like this video, get subscribed. I really wanna hit 100,000 subscribers this year, and I would love if you all were part of that journey. It means a lot, and I appreciate it. We'll start with the colors and design of the chairs, and then work our way from the top all the way down. So with the regular fern, you have a ton of different color options, and then you also get to choose the cheapest color option, which is black, just all black. That one costs significantly less than the other colors, and that's the one I was talking about, that if you get it in basic configuration, it can cost just over $1,100. With the gaming ferns, what you see is what you get. You don't get any other options than this. So for the Xbox One, in the headrest, you've got an Xbox logo here, and then this is a nice little touch on the digital knit backing here. I'll talk more about this a little later. You actually have X shapes on the digital knit. Normally this digital knit is supposed to be honeycomb shaped, but on the Xbox One, they chose to use X's. It's a nice little touch. If you're paying attention, it's pretty cool. On the back here, you've got the Xbox logo in the top middle back, and then the rubbery part that really flexes and moves with you on that back that I love, it's a lime green color, so a nice poppy color. And then you've got this badge that shows that collaboration with Xbox and Hayworth. And then on the casters, you've got a little hint of green in the middle. Again, a nice little touch to show that this is that you know black and green color of the Xbox. Box. Then we come over here to the Halo collaboration chair. On the headrest, you got 117, which I believe is that, you know, Sergeant, I don't know, Chief Sergeant one, John 117, something like that. I'm not a Halo fan, I, I apologize, guys. Uh, and then on the backrest here, you've got the badge, and then you've got some type font here. And then down here, you've got this golden badge, again, showing that collaboration between Hayworth and Halo. And of course, the color of the chair is reminiscent of that armor, it's that hunter green. And this color is not an option on the regular Hayworth. Ferns. So this is super unique to the Halo collaboration chair. The question I think you need to ask is that you may love Halo or Xbox or whatever color fern you get today, but will the you in the future still want that color? These chairs come with a 12 year warranty, proven excellent customer service. So will the you in 12 years still be in love with Halo? Will the you in 12 years still want this lime green accented chair in your office space? I don't know, only you can answer that, and I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments. The headrest on the Hayworth Fern is not great. It is literally just a pad that goes up and down, and that's it, and it's not comfortable at all. This is the big advantage of getting a regular fern, because with a regular fern, you can choose to forego a headrest and save like 70 bucks, whereas on the gaming ferns, the headrest comes with the chair. You can't choose to buy one without it, and you're paying for it, like it's built into the price. 
Now, if you look over here at my regular Fern, you'll notice that it's got a totally different headrest compared to these two, because this is actually made by a company called Atlas Headrest. This headrest was actually designed for the Herman Miller Aeron, but with somebody's help in the community, they found a way to adapt that headrest to the Hayworth Fern. You can find my video on that over here somewhere, and this is an infinitely better headrest. And this is the big argument for why a regular Fern could be a better buy than these two, because you can either not buy a headrest at all, because it's not great anyway, and, and save 70 bucks, or you can take that savings and buy this headrest. It's not cheap, but if you already have a fern with a headrest, by the way, you can remove this and then you can adapt a headrest onto it, this one here. So you can do that. You can use my code Entourage for $5 off. But yeah, this is an infinitely better headrest experience. So good, in fact, that my friend ended up getting a Hayworth fern because it was cheaper than the gaming body. And after using it for a few days, he was like, look, this is by far the best chair. I like it better than the embodiment. That's how good this headrest is. There are three different fabrics that can come on the backrest. There's the mesh, which you see here. The mesh is the most breathable. You can see right through it. It's perfect for people who get hot or who are in warmer climates or just gaming all day and it's hot in your room. Then you've got digital knit. This is what kind of the digital knit looks like. And the digital knit is just so soft and comfortable. It's less breathable, but man, the cushion it provides for your back is just phenomenal. It is my favorite back fabric of all the ferns. And then you've got the vegan leather option. I don't have any experience with the vegan leather back, so I can't say too much about it. But from what I know about vegan leather and just from the pictures, I can kind of tell that it's probably going to be the least breathable of all three fabrics. When it comes to the regular fern, you can get a chair in either any of those three backs, mesh, digital knit, or vegan leather. With the, hey, uh, the Xbox fern here, you can only get it in the digital knit. And again, this digital knit is a little bit different because the shape that it makes here is an X shape for that Xbox collab. Whereas on the regular fern, it would look more like a honeycomb. And then over here on the Hayworth fern one, the, Hay the Halo Hayworth fern one, this one comes also with just a mesh back. You can't choose a different fabric for this. All three chairs have the option to add additional lumbar support. It's this bubble thing here. The way I describe it, it's like a big rubber bubble. It's very flexy, very squishy. Uh, I personally like aggressive lumbar, so I love it, but I've read a lot of comments of people saying, I don't like it, it's just too aggressive. If that's you, if you're not sure what which one to buy, you can always remove it. It's not the easiest thing to do, but it is possible, so if you're not sure, you can always get it and remove it later. When it comes to seat fabrics, the regular fern comes with two options, either the regular fabric or the vegan leather fabric, and if you get the vegan leather fabric seat, the back will also be vegan leather. You can't separate them out. On the Xbox Fern, again, the seat is going to be using a genuine leather, at least that's what it says on the website. And then on the Halo Fern, it doesn't clarify what kind of leather this is using, but comparing the textures, I think this is the vegan leather one here. I'll talk about why in just a second. So when it comes to the fabric, when it comes to the look of it, it kind of looks like recycled. It's got multiple colors in it. And then when it comes to touch, it's smooth, but it's a little bit rough too. Like it's smooth as in if you rub it, you're not going to get, you know, like kind of fabric burn or anything like that, but it is a little rougher to the touch. Now, when it comes to the vegan leather, this thing feels super duper slippery. Not slippery is not the right word. It's soft, just smooth all the way through. And then when I touch the genuine leather comparing to the vegan leather, this one is also smooth, but it's got a little bit more texture to it. So this is why, the reason why I think this Halo one is using the vegan leather, not a real leather. For some reason, Hayward decided to put a stitch line right in the middle of the seat for both the genuine leather and the vegan leather seat. I don't know why they did that. It doesn't look great. But the biggest concern I had was that it creates a bump in the middle. And so to test this, I decided to take my jeans off, obviously not on camera, but I took my jeans off and using my, you know, my underwear butt, I rubbed all over against it to see, can I feel it? Is it going to bother me? And the conclusion I'm happy to report is no, you can't really feel it. But now I'm going to take a page out of Amaranth's book and I'm selling these butt rub chairs for 10, no, $100,000 a piece. Any takers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The armrest on the regular fern can be configured in two different configurations. The basic arm, which just goes up and down, or the 4D armrest, which is up and down, and then you can slide forward, back, in, out, swivel, everything like that. Both the gaming ferns come with the 4D arms. You don't get a choice. Forward tilt is an optional upgrade on the Hayworth fern, and it's really, really good for people who like to sit up towards the screen, towards your activity, towards your crafting, whatever you're doing, or you like to sit and scooch up in your chair. Because when your seat tilts forward, what happens is your feet dig into the ground and it actually makes it really easy for you to open that back up and straighten it instead of slouching like you would in a regular flat seat pan. People who love forward tilt love forward tilt. I find it to be amazing. However, I'm not that much of a lean forwarder. I actually lean back more in my chair. 
With the regular fern, you can choose to go with or without it. If you go without it, you can save a little bit of money. With both gaming ferns, forward tilt is built into the chair and it's also built into the price. On the regular fern, you can choose one of two base materials, either plastic or aluminum. Functionally, there's no difference, but the aluminum does feel a little bit more premium. Now, when you choose the aluminum, basically the legs as well as the bottom rising up into the base of the arms, this is all going to be aluminum here. And if you get a brighter colored frame color, then it's going to be this shiny color here. If you go with a darker colored frame, then it's going to be a matte, darker kind of aluminum color like you see here. Again, when it comes to the regular fern, you can choose plastic or aluminum. Plastic is going to be cheaper. For both the gaming ferns, they come with an aluminum frame, and again, it's got that matte, dark look. The final option are going to be casters. You can choose to get hard casters or soft casters. Hard casters are great for soft floors, carpets. If you try to take a hard caster and go on a hard floor, it won't roll. And if you try to move while you're inside the chair, you're going to find yourself falling out of it. The regular fern comes with either hard or soft casters you can choose. With the hard casters, they're gonna be a little cheaper. You can save a little money that way. With both gaming ferns, both of these come with softer casters. And again, on the Xbox One, the caster does have like a green accent in the middle to accentuate that Xbox feel. What would be my personal recommendation? If you're okay with the splash of lime green in the back and the Xbox logo, I definitely think the Xbox Fern is the best bang for a buck. It's got the best back, it's got the best seat cushion fabric, that genuine leather. It'll last forever if you take good care of it. And then you can always pop out the headrest and put in an adapted Atlas headrest in the future if you wanted. If you don't really care about leather because you're not kinky that way and you really want the best headrest, I highly recommend you get a regular fern, configure it, save some money, take that money, that save money, and buy an Atlas headrest with it. Again, coupon will be down below. That's gonna do it for this one. Links will be down below. If this video helped, please use them. Until next time, stay honest.